Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. We are given an isosceles triangle ABC in which AB is equal to AC given. This segment BD is equal to this CE and we have to prove that this part DF is equal to this FE to prove that TF is equal to FE. It's not a difficult question but the biggest challenge is how to start solving. This has been the complaint of many of my brilliant students regarding this question that how to start this question. This is equal to this angle because this AB is equal to AC. Base angles of an isosceles triangle will be equal. This side given as this. This is obtuse angle and this one, this angle and this no one is obtuse angle. So we cannot prove these two triangles congruent. So that is the problem. Now just a little creation, a proper construction has to be done and then the solution will be revealed very soon. So we have to draw, so from this point draw a line parallel to C. I have drawn this DG parallel to C. Now since this is parallel to this, so this angle will be equal to this angle. These two are equal because of vertically opposite angle. And if this angle is equal to this, then their linear pair this will be equal to this. Suppose this is 130, so this will be 50, 130, this will be 50 linear pair angles. But since AB and AC are equal, therefore these two base angles will be equal. So these two are equal angles. And since base angles are equal, we can say that DB is equal to DG. But we are given that DB is equal to C. And therefore we can say that DB is equal to DG and DG is equal to C. So in these two triangles, we are considering DGF and uh, ECF we in triangles DGF and FEC. First point DG is equal to C we found this is equal to this is equal to this. We are given these two equal and we found these two equal so therefore DG is equal to C. Second point this angle DGF is equal to angle ECF alternate angles and third point these two vertically opposite are equal so DFG is equal to angle EFC so therefore these two triangles are congruent triangle DGF is congruent to triangle ECF by angle angle side test of congruency and therefore we can say that the corresponding sides will be equal. That means DF is equal to FE hence proved. The second method is if we don't want to draw this parallel to this we can do this question by alternative method. Just extend this here and either draw a line parallel to this BA from here or we can do another construction, draw a line segment which is equal to the length of EC. EC is equal to this EM. Suppose M is the point. This line is extended. This is H, point H. This BC is extended. And this either EH drawn parallel to BA from this point or we can construct an in, an in this way that the length of EH should be equal to EC. So take EC as the arc and cut over here. Say so EC is equal to EH. So there are two more constructions. Either extend it and draw a line parallel from the point E parallel to BA. So either this is parallel to this. Or we don't draw parallel. Draw a line segment 
taking this as the length cut from uh, this point so eh is equal to ec we can now prove that dbf and ehf are equal so i am taking this parallel to this so this angle is equal to this angle and this angle is equal to this angle these two angles are vertically opposite angles so this angle is this angle these two are equal now we found this is equal to this and if this is equal to this but we are given that c is equal to bd so we can say that this bd is equal to he so this is equal to this and this angle is equal to this angle and uh, this full angle is equal to this full angle so by angle side angle angle side angle we can say that these two triangles are congruent and hence df is equal to fe the corresponding sides are equal and on the other hand if we choose that this is equal to this in construction not parallel so we can say that this is equal to this it means this is equal to this so in these two triangles this is equal to this but if this is equal to this given it means these two are equal and uh, it means this angle is equal to this angle these two found equal because of these two and these two so we can say that this is parallel and if parallel then this angle is equal to this angle once again by angle side angle test these two will be congruent and if these two are triangle dbf and ehf are congruent then corresponding sides df and fe are equal hence proved